our state yeah, congressperson, yeah. uh, Lori Tanubu, a professor in her own right, <laughs> <laughs> come to talk about a quick <laughs> issue. <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, come to talk, and there's Michael Hill walking through. Ms. Edie, Ms. Edie, there's yes, Michael Hill walking through, so make the contact with him before you leave the room. Yes. Appreciate it. Uh, uh, Dr. Uh, Tanubu is coming here. Come on, Glover. Uh, it's going to talk about an issue. Now, some of you might wonder why I move the way I do, because we're on a tight agenda. And a lot of times we deal with issues, uh, impromptu issues and we have to put them on the agenda so that we might be able to take care of them. And so what Dr. Tanubu has to talk about is a very important issue. Uh, so we want her to come and give her, let's give her a big hand. Thank you, as she comes to the Thank you for the promotion to Congresswoman. Thank you. Thank you. State Representative Gloria Tanubu, uh, House District 68, I was just elected elected in November. I represent parts of Clayton, DeKalb, Fulton, and part of the city of Atlanta. I'm here to talk to you about Senate Bill 79, uh, which came to the House of Representatives on the 30th. It's a bill that is made up of three local issues, Savannah Public Schools, DeKalb Public Schools, as well as the city of Atlanta. It started out as only a Savannah bill. Uh, back in February, but by March it became a City of Atlanta and DeKalb bill as well. And what that bill basically does is it will allow the governor to replace the Atlanta School Board members if it does not achieve full accreditation by July 1, 2011. That's in a few months. The governor will have the authority to remove every member of the board and re replace them with his appointees. And they will fill out the terms of those members. And so we're having, I'm, I'm leaving right now because we have a, are having a press conference down at the city about, uh, down at the, the Capitol about this issue. Uh, we're saying no way. This is not going to happen. We need you to write the governor, call the governor. I've left some um, um, handouts with uh, Abel Mabel, um, with the phone numbers there and the, and the issues that we are addressing. There are issues of voting rights issues, taking away voters' uh, right to vote and, and our right to elect our local representatives. It's a whole host of things. I want to be, come back again when I can really talk about not only this bill, but about SACs and the ungodly things that they've been attempting to do. Sure. So thank you so much. Before, I know you're in a hurry. And, and of course, I know you came to inform us what is going on at the Capitol with the press conference. And, there, and my great grandma, who was born uh, 220 years after signing of the emancipation that freed black folk from slavery, she said there's two sides to every story. And, and, and I wanted to hear your side. But understand this, we know about SACS, and we want you to come back and talk about SACS. But those of us who receive our doctorate and our masters and our bachelor's and associate degree know that the, we receive those degrees from institutions that were sanctioned by SACS. In this fight, Concerned Black Clergy has been on the cutting edge behind the scene, operating on behalf of trying to get this school board thing. Number one, the, the main objective in this fight is our children. Yes. Our children right. are being used as pawns. Now, one of the ways to correct this and we have met with the school board, clergy, renowned clergy of this community, has met behind the scene on not one occasion, two occasions, on about three or four occasions, led by the, 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 uh, the, the, the great Dr. Lowry. And we asked, let's get it straightened out by May of this year. What we can start with is the chairperson resign. And so you go back and tell them that this is not a bunch of chicken-eating preachers who is making decisions on behalf of our children. And so we appreciate you coming over, and we want to meet with our committee, our education committee, behind Dr. Jerome Harris is our chairperson of our education committee. Tell them I know all the dogs in the fight. I know even including the political folk who look like us. And so therefore, we want to be on the cutting edge on behalf of our who? Our children in the Atlanta public school system that Dr. Benjamin Elijah Mays worked so hard 
to move us in a direction that we ought to be. Let's give glory to you. <laughs> 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 I would love to work with that committee as well. There are a lot of issues that are not publicly revealed that I think that it would benefit you know, the committee to have some conversation with those of us who are a little bit more on the inside. So please, I'd, I'd love to do that. Dr. Harris, I've known you and love your work and would love to uh, work with the committee on that and, and really look at this this, this is political as well. It's a long story. i got to go. But th this is a political movement um, in terms of um, what's been happening to our schools. And it's not only in the south, because SACS now has um, authority in the north central area. So they now cover 30 uh, states regionally. And most of these states have predominantly either African American or, or, uh, or Hispanic and African American uh, students. So we'll talk a little bit more later. Thank you. I won't thank you. Let's give her a big hand. <laughs>